Okay, here we have the uh, laser cutter engraver that I got on eBay. Um, it's got a water pump hooked up, so the water comes out of the pump through here into the laser tube, which is on the here, uh, and then out again through this tube here. It's got an extractor fan fitted. Uh, it's not venting outside yet because this is going to be moved to uh, the shed when it's fin when I finish with it. I've added um, uh, air assist and a, a, red, a red laser dot fire power it up. There's a little red dot. And the air assist uh, basically blows through this point here over the lens to disperse some fumes and flames and whatnot. That's powered by a, a small aquarium bubble pump thing there. Um, I'm taking the laser feed from uh, one of these uh, motor uh, power supplies here for a resistor. So, here we have Coal Draw 11, which is uh, my native favourite tool. Um, I've got a bitmap with uh, some nice lilies in there um, and a couple of vector shapes. Now, the way this works is I have this little dialogue up here, if I hit laser carve 2 it tells me it's found all the different colour shapes in there and a bitmap and I can adjust speeds and powers and tell it what uh, cut method to use carve for engraving, outline for vector cutting so if I press output COM3 which is what the device is on there's a lot of other stuff here I don't really understand yet let's hit output It goes. So it's, it's currently engraving at the moment. Uh, I think this is the max speed it will do. So this room is uh, filling up with the smell of burnt card, which is lovely. Um, I'm only using very small laser power at the moment. It's adjustable by this, this knob here. It's currently giving, if you can see that, uh, the current uh, run time of the uh, program. So there it goes. It's done in a second. Jobs are good. I haven't set the, um, the laser power very high and it was going extremely quickly so um, well that's the, uh, the first thing I've ever output from this so it's looking promising um, I guess what I need to do now is, uh, <laughs> is actually bolt all these bits and bobs in this is, this is all loose, these are all loose um, and give it a, a good old bit of a refurbish but looking pretty promising so far Okay, one other thing I need to do to this is um, properly align all the all the uh, mirrors. There's uh, one in there that comes from the tube. This one here, which goes into the uh, the head mirror, which goes down through a lens down to the bottom. Now, since it's come back from uh, the place I picked up from, that's about 50, 60 miles in the uh, back seat of my car. Um, everything got knocked a little bit loose, I think. But I have managed to uh, budget a little bit to get it um, spot it in each corner and across the whole uh, range of travel. So if I give it a test here, there we go, all the way around, like that, another one, all the way down there, one, and also in the centre. go. I think that was about 75% power. I do a full whack. Woohee! Round it down a bit. So these, these 40 watts are quite juicy I think. Um, I haven't tested on any acrylic yet but I have a feeling if I want nice edges which aren't, uh, haven't got too much of a chamfer on them I'm going to have to do a uh, two passes quite slowly but 
that's cool for me because I only want to prototype things on this. Um, I'll post some more videos when I've actually got it doing something useful.